Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his whole name. I'm Avenue Daniels Jr. I rise this morning giving God the honor, the praise, and the glory. Thankful for this time that we have to share together in this Monday morning's devotion. Listen over in Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 26, about verse number 36. The Bible teaches us it proves that sometimes you have to go a little bit further. If you need a tag and a title for this devotion, it would be go a little bit further. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, your purpose causes you pain. There is absolutely no way for you to realize and materialize God's purpose in your life without going through some pain. So, in short, in order for God's purpose to make manifest in your life, you got to be willing to tolerate some pain. And sometimes, many of us will never see our purpose, we'll never walk in our purpose, we'll never walk in our call because we're not willing to tolerate some pain. If you're going to have God's purpose in your life, if you're going to be powerful in your purpose, you got to be willing to tolerate some pain. How do you know that? I know that because over there in the Garden of Gethsemane, you have to go through the pain of being alone. See, your Gethsemane is the place where you are alone with God. You are isolated and insulated from everybody else. Yes, you're in a crowd of people. There are people around you, but you are alone. God does his best work on you when you are alone. And sometimes, in order for God's purpose to make manifest in your life, you got to be willing to be alone. The pain of being alone is a part of your purpose in Christ Jesus. And then, there is the pain of separation. He left the eight disciples. He went a little bit further. And then he left Peter, James, and John. Then the Bible says he went a little further and fell on his face. See, in order for God's purpose to make manifest in your life, you got to be willing to tolerate the pain of separation. God will pull people out of your life. God will pull people from your life. You will be separated from other people. And except you're willing to tolerate the pain of separation, you will not be willing to see God's purpose in your life. And finally, the Bible says when he went in, he prayed. Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. There's a personal pain. There's a personal anguish and agony that comes as a result of you living in, working out God's purpose in your life. Your soul will get tired. Your soul will agonize. But you got to be willing to say, Father, not my will. Suppress your own flesh, your own wants, your own desires, your own needs, and say, Thy will be done and not my own. There is the personal pain of your purpose. And then finally, there is the pain of um, disappointment. When he came back out, the ones that he said he commissioned to pray for him. Pray for me, fellas. Y'all can't go in here with me, but pray for me while I go pray yonder. And the Bible said when he came back, he found them sleeping. And Jesus was uh, disappointed. He said, could you not watch with me? one hour. In other words, people will let you down. When you're moving towards your purpose in Christ Jesus, there will be people that you cannot depend on. They will let you down. They will turn their back. They won't hold you down. You've been there for them, but they won't be there for you. In order for you to realize God's purpose in your life, you must be willing to tolerate the pain of of disappointment and I hope trust pray that God will move on you in such a way that you will be willing to tolerate the pain in your life so that you can materialize and realize God's purpose in your life I think it was better right that says no pain and no gain all you need to do is the same thing Jesus did is go a little bit farther hope trust pray that God will maximize his potential and his purpose in your life to the next time God is good all the time and all of the time God is sure enough good go a little bit farther be blessed